Welcome to today's video, where I would like to introduce you to a new potential use case for chat GPT in project management. Now, before we begin, I do just want to preface this video by mentioning that I am going to be using the GPT-4 model, which does tend to give us a greater output. It's a little bit, um, the quality's a little bit better, uh, but it is at the time of recording only part of the paid plan. So I think I'm paying around $20 a month. Um, you could, you may already have access to this. You may consider upgrading, but you don't necessarily need to. But what I just wanted to mention that if you do use the free uh, version, the legacy version, which is a 3.5, and that's kind of um, the default for all uh, chat GPT plans and free plans, then you might get slightly different output. It might be slightly inferior. So I just wanted to mention that if you do start getting different output um, and you do go, go ahead and start trying some of these prompts. But with that mentioned, I do just want to talk about this new use case. And it's actually enabled me to build quick work breakdown structures uh, that I have been kind of using across different projects. It gives me, what I like about this um, and, and ChatGPT in general, is that it does give us uh, an idea of things to, to include. You might overlook certain things and if nothing else, it gives you a starting template to work from. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna provide you with some simple prompts that you can plug in to ChatGPT uh, to see what I'm kind of talking about. And you can kind of do this in your own time and, and kind of craft your prompts to get um, the the responses and the output that you're looking for. And do consider that. Chat GPT, uh, the output is only as good as the input and it does uh, require some testing. Uh, and it also works better when you kind of are more specific, uh, but we'll get onto that in due course. So let's start with the first prompt, very, very basic and we can build out from it. So create a WBS, I mean, we could put work breakdown structure as well, um, but you know, um, that's one of the good things of ChatGPT. It is knowledgeable, so it will understand what we're talking about when we put WBS, because that is an, uh, a widely used and understood acronym. So create a WBS for, no, let's, let's change it, sorry. Create a general WPS, WBS, I should say. Hit return, and let's see what happens here. So to begin with, it's given us a introduction to exactly what it is. So if you're you're fam not new, uh, you're new to WBS or not familiar, then it does just give us a quick definition. So it's saying it's a hierarchical decomposition of a project into manageable tasks and subtasks. It helps in project planning, resource allocation, and monitoring progress. So here's a general WBS template that can be adapted for various projects. And the reason I've started with the general. WBS, and I've put that, this specific term in here, is because it helps us, this could be adapted to any project because it's got the core phases, project initiation, project planning, project execution, project monitoring and control, and it's gonna have a project closure as well. Um, but yeah, this one's really, really good because you could just use this um, as, a, as a generic WBS for any any project that you're working on. So here's the project closure that I was mentioning before, and you can see it's if anything, it gives you it gives you a very very basic uh, project plan that you can work from, um, and it gives you ideas maybe of some some um, uh, templates that you need to create or artifacts that you may not already have. As an example, the project charter maybe that's something you're yet to build perhaps that you haven't even identified your project stakeholder. It just gives you ideas on different aspects of the project that you might not be familiar with or that are gonna be upcoming and that you start you, you need to start planning for. Um, and at the bottom here, we've got this caveat. Remember to customize this general WBS to suit the specific requirements of your project. So yeah, this is a really, really good basic one to work from. You could scroll down, you could, I've used my mouse here and left clicking and I'm scrolling down and I could literally copy and paste this into Microsoft Excel or any other kind of uh, applicable uh, application or software that you want to build this out in. Uh, so this is obviously a starting point. So that's the first prompt that I'd kind of suggest that you try. Another one is you could say, you could do this in a new chat. Um, you'd simply click this. I'm actually gonna do that because I don't want the um, chat GPT to build off the former prompt. So that's what you can do. And I'll show you that in a, in, in a second. But let's say this time, create a WBS for a software project. 
So I'm being a bit more specific here. We're not using general. We we're going for a software project, and that's what I'm looking for in this instance. But if you're watching this, you might have you obviously you might be working on various different types of projects. Your organisation may have uh, different focuses. So you could plug that in instead of the word software. And as you can see here, it is starting to to create it. And the first part, project initiation, is very much the same. Um, but if we go here, um, or well, let's let it run, I should say. Um, we are going to hopefully get some different uh, subtasks and I'm starting to see them populate define software requirements. Now that wouldn't have been in the one before and we've, we're going to have loads of different other ones as well like design software architecture, develop database. So this one is obviously a lot more specific and in depth so that's where being specific in your prompts can really really help you. So do consider the type of project you're working on. Um, and adding that to your prompt and you should get some uh, new tasks and it should be more relevant. Of course, you don't have to use all of these. You can take these out, you can change the numbers. So as an example, let's just say uh, we didn't want to develop the application architecture, then we could just um, remove this and then change this to 2.3.3. You get the idea. We just obviously need to make sure the numbering is correct. But th this is going to keep running. It's it's obviously a lot more in depth because we're a lot more specific. And that's, yeah, as I've said so far in this video, that is a major, major uh, thing to consider when using ChatGPT is being specific. So these are the main ones. I'm trying to think of other prompts we could perhaps put in that would be uh, useful. I might even go with something like create a uh, WPS for a software project in tabular form. So this is another example. Um, let's see what happens. Again, I'm actually putting these in. I don't know exactly what's going to come out. I'm hoping that it kind of understands my request and I'm hoping that it does exactly what I've asked here, but I don't actually know. It's all about testing. But as we can see, it's doing it. It's, it's giving us the level, it's given us a task ID and it's given us the description. So as you can see here, this may be uh, better for exporting. It may be better for understanding the, the concepts a little bit better. Um, yeah, obviously it's better for formatting, but this, it, this is just you know, a, a way we can adapt the prompt for our WBS. Now, I think I'm going to leave this video here. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue recording videos like this and do consider subscribing to the channel. If you head over to my channel, you should find various different playlists. I've got one entirely on using ChatGPT to create these kind of artifacts and others as well. Um, and I've also got other playlists on creating key artifacts in Excel or other um, different applications. There's training on different project management tools. Um, so yeah, do check those out as well. And there's also just training on project management in general, methodology, processes, tasks, etc. So do check out my channel. And I really would recommend signing up to ChatGPT and just exploring these uh, different prompts and just testing it and seeing what you can do, being more specific about what, exactly what you're looking for. So all that said, I hope you have an excellent day.